video, I'll go over the setup of this transmitter and what the various parts do. The first thing you want to do when you get this transmitter is to make sure that you have eight AA batteries inside. To check that it's working, turn it on and green light indicates high battery. The next thing you want to do is to bind the transmitter with the receiver. Binding it ensures that this transmitter talks to this receiver. The first step in the bind process is to take the bind plug and put it into the port labeled battery. Next, you want to provide power to the receiver. This can be done by using an ESC with built-in BEC functionality or a BEC. When you plug the ESC in, make sure that the pins are facing upwards and plug it into any of the ports. Now that it's plugged in, we want to plug in the battery to the ESC. I'm just using a two cell battery Once we plug it in, you'll notice that the receiver starts flashing. That means that it has no connection. Next, we want to push down this button on the transmitter while turning it on. Once you do this, you'll see that the light has gone solid, indicating that it's been bound. Now we can turn off the transmitter, disconnect the battery, Take out the bind plug, and it's bound. Now we want to check to see if the transmitter is talking to the receiver. We're going to do this by taking a servo and plugging it into channel 1. Now, transmitter on first, and then provide power to the receiver. Okay, let's see. So when I push the aileron stick, the servo is moving, which means that it is bound. Now let's go over what the parts of the transmitter and receiver do. So of course the transmitter sends out a signal using its antenna, which is at the top, to the receiver. And the receiver receives this from this antenna. And then it sends out the signal to channels 1 to 5, which are its servo connections or motor connections. This first stick right here, the up and down movement is throttle, which controls the motor speed. This left and right movement is for the rudder. Up and down movement here is for elevator. And the left and right movement here is for aileron. There are these sliders that correspond with each type of control. This one is for trimming the aileron movement. This is for trimming the elevator, throttle, and rudder. Up here at the top, you'll notice that there are two knobs. You can program these to do specific functions using the T6A programming software, which is linked down below. There are also two two-position switches. You can use this to null your motor or use flaps, flaperons, any other things. And I'll show you that in a later video for programming this. On the receiver, channel one corresponds to aileron, channel two corresponds to elevator, channel three, throttle, four, rudder, and five and six are programmable in the software. And that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to watch my next video on programming this and customizing the transmitter for your model. Uh, the links are down below for this specific transmitter and receiver combo from Hobby King. Thanks for watching.